Quarterback is the toughest position in sports, hands down. They have to be mechanically sound, have really good size, be able to extend plays, be athletic, be very accurate with the football. But the number one most important thing they have to be able to do is make decisions. They need to be able to look at a defense and see, okay, we got two eye safeties. They're probably going to be rolling down when we motion over. We have an inside zone over here. That means I have a one-on-one -on -one with the corner and we can take that. They have to go through all that stuff and then actually go ahead and execute that. It's very difficult to do. So what I wanna to do today is actually take you through that thought process. What do the quarterbacks actually do when they're going through their reads? Are they looking at defenders? Are they looking at people? Are they looking at their own routes? How do they determine where to put the football? So it doesn't matter if you're a QB, QB coach, whether you're just playing Madden at home or you're just a fan who loves the game, we're gonna dive deep into the reads of a quarterback today. So let's go ahead and get started. So one thing we have to keep in mind is that offensive coordinators are always gonna design their plays to attack space. So right now we have a, we have a cover three type of look, a one high safety. So the space is gonna be in this area, in the middle of the field, and we have the flat. So all these circles here, we can throw in any of this space. So we might design a play to attack that space, or what we could do is we can say, hey, let's isolate a man and let's focus on attacking that guy. So when we look at this play right here, what we're gonna have is a smash concept. It's a variation variation of a smash concept, which is essentially a high low on this corner, right? We have that on this side. And then over here, we've got a dig route here and a little spot route, and he can break that out if it's gonna be man coverage. So this one, both of these examples are isolation concepts, okay? He's just gonna take off and run and go. So we have the alert. If we wanna take this, we get the right look. We just tell our quarterback, hey, if it looks good, we get press coverage. Let's just take the shot, okay? But outside of that, what we have is going to be an isolation on these two defenders. So let's go ahead and take a look at the corner up top. So we talk about the smash concept, right? So a smash concept is an isolation on the corner. So he's either going to bail, he's either gonna bail and take this, or he's gonna come up and take the underneath. Now this is the interesting thing. Mahomes is actually able to take the underneath route here even though the corner does commit, okay? That's just because Mahomes is, is fantastic. He's got, a, he's got a rocket arm and he's got crazy fast receivers. So he knows that he can just fire that in there and get the completion either way. So if you're gonna be able to take it, then take it, no problem. Okay, but in theory, this is an isolation on this guy. So they have the ability to, if he wanted to hold on to this a little bit longer, he'd be able to take and fire this corner route here for a big gain, all right? That is an isolation concept. So. He just has to, Mahomes, at the snap, he picks a side, okay? Now they can say, hey, if it's a one high safety look, we wanna go up here. If it's a two high safety, we wanna go here. They can do however they wanna set it up, all right? But there's, a, there's definitely a plan of attack to tell them where to put the eyes. And then at the snap, he picks a side, he, he looks at his defender, he isolates him, and then he makes him wrong. Let's say he decided to go down to the bottom here and work this concept, which is, again, the dig. So this is the bow concept, right? So you have, this is a pretty cool stretch because you have a, a high low as well, right? This is a high low on this backer, but you also have the horizontal stretch of whether he's gonna take the dig or he's gonna take the underneath route. So if we look at this, all right, this guy's out of, out of place, okay? He's, he's out leveraged already on this dig route. So he's gonna lose uh, trying to chase this. He's gonna be behind. But if he were to look down here, he could essentially just stare at this defender and whatever he does, he's wrong, okay? So these reads, you think about a smash combination, right? Smash combination and this bow concept, these are isolation reads. You pick a defender, you pick a defender and they are wrong either way, no matter what they do. This is the simplest form of a read for a quarterback. All right, now let's take a look at another example here. So we're gonna run a whatever kind of motion you wanna call this, some type of fly motion. And then we're gonna run the stick concept. So what is a stick concept? They're doing a different variation of it. We've talked about this in other videos. Essentially, you need a flat and you need something in the stick, okay? So what they're gonna have is this little out route here and the running back's gonna fake and head over here. So this is an interesting type of progression as well. This is not a pure isolation like we had on the last one, okay? We're not just picking one side and just saying, okay, let's look at one defender and let's go. What we're gonna do here is we have this route here. This is gonna be the alert. Again, if the corner's pressed up and we like the, the matchup, we just step and fire it, no big deal, okay? Easy, easy read for a quarterback. But now what we have 
is a true or pure progression, however you want to call it. Now this is essentially what we mean is, so this is the alert, right? First read is going to be here. That's our flat route, okay? Then the next read that we have is going to be the stick route. That's going to be two. Then we come up and this is the, this is the out and back in. This is going to be our third read. And then here is going to be our fourth read up at the top here. Now, if we can see what this really does is it starts on this side of the field and it works its way across the field in terms of a progression. So we work right, okay, right to left. Okay, this is a pure progression as they, as they say here. Now, this is a really easy way for a quarterback to have a read. What you don't want is you don't want to have a quarterback have to look over here and then have his second read be over here and then his third read is coming back over here. This would make no sense. This is extremely difficult for a quarterback to do. So what you'll see a lot is you'll see coordinators create plays in a way in which their eyes, the quarterback's eyes, can literally scan from right to left or left to right. Okay, this is a really easy way to do that. Now let's go ahead and look at how Rodgers handles this progression because he is an expert, right? He is, he is a master of this craft. So he knows pre-snap, we look at his eyes here, he quickly looks out, he's looking at this. That's maybe his alert or he's trying to get an idea of whether or not that flat route is gonna be there. He didn't like it, he comes to his stick, he sees this safety jump in. Okay, so that's not gonna be there. Now, because his eyes were over here, now when he gets back, he's working over, sees his dig come in. It took a little bit longer than he anticipated here. He probably was ready to fire it right now. He had to wait, easy fire. Now we have a nice completion. Okay, it's a 15 yard gain here. Really good ball strike here. And if that wasn't there, right? Let's, let's go back to this one. So let's say this flat defender, Okay, so if we look at, at how this plays out, all right, he's either a flat defender here or he's just going to be matching, essentially. This is, this is probably a version of match, right? And he's going to match this guy or he's running out to the flats either way. If he ends up taking this dig, right? So we have this route. If he ends up taking this, and that means that this is going to be wide open, okay, our next read. So he comes here. He looks. Imagine this guy's here. Then he just comes and takes his check down and throws it to his running back. Easy completion. All right, that's the, the way that that progression would work here. All right, so let's take a look at another type of play here. So right now what we've got is we've got a fade out here by Jamar Chase. He's gonna run essentially a vertical route over the middle of the field here. Got a dig on the backside, and then we've got this guy leaking into the flats. Okay, this is gonna be a play action. He's gonna settle up in the flats here. If he identifies one high safety, okay, one high middle field closed, Essentially, this route is gonna be dead, okay? That makes no sense, we're not gonna take that. Depending on the situation, maybe that just tells him, let's throw our shot ball, okay? And obviously, they've done that a ton during the season, so maybe they do that. But if they don't want that in that particular matchup, then the quarterback's just gonna read dig, right here, dig, to this check down, this outlet here. It's just a one to two. Now, when you look at this from a fan's perspective, Right, and we see this number two receiver screaming down the middle of the field, wide open for an easy touchdown. I mean, this is this is just nice and easy, drop it in, walk in touchdown. Why didn't he do this? That's the question that you might ask from a fan's point of view. But from his perspective, if he gets middle field closed, that's gonna be dead. So his option is really to throw the fade if he wants to alert that fade. But this one is gonna be dead here, okay? So after that, we're gonna get right to our dig, our first read right here. If this doesn't look good, which is what he's, he's gonna look at right away, he's gonna look at this dig. If it doesn't look good, he can go to this check down right in here, okay? Now, how do we know, how do we know from a quarterback's perspective that that check down is gonna be there? Because our eyes are here. We can't see anything on this side of the field. The reason that we know that is because anytime the number two receiver is gonna release vertical, it doesn't really matter what the what the coverage is. A lot of times, he, he's always gonna go back with it, right? He has to carry two vertical at least a little bit. He's gotta jam the number two receiver, not give him a free release to make this guy's job easier. So when he runs vertical, he backs up with it, we know automatically this underneath is gonna be open. Now it's only open for two to three yards and that's fine, All right? This is a second and eight right now. We're really trying to get third and two. That's kind of our goal with what we'd like. So we end up with a third and three here or something like that. All right. But we know from a quarterback standpoint, 
that we can just trust the concept design. We can look to our dig and if it doesn't look good, we come over, take our check down, easy completion here. Now let's look at this from the end zone cam. So he sees one high safety look, he goes, hits his play action, turns around. He's not even worried about the number two going vertical anymore, right? He discovered pre-snap or he realized it's gone, okay? We're not looking at that, we're just looking straight to our dig. He gets his eyes to the dig immediately. It's not open as much as he'd want. He then gets his eyes directly to the check down, take it, easy completion. We'll get our five yards, no problem. All right, now here's the last one, different type of read. So we've had an isolation concept. We've had an alert with a pure progression. Now here's another option that we can't have. This is gonna be a spacing concept, okay? Another thing that we've covered on this channel so far. So essentially, this gives you the, the same idea of the pure progression, right? This is one, this is two, three, and four. You're gonna see this all the time when it comes to concepts, right? So they're gonna try and make things nice and simple for them, but instead of having this be an alert, you can also change this and make this a gift, okay? So in this situation, we're gonna build our play to allow us to take something if we think that it's there pre-snap. Okay, and it's gonna be, it's not a deep shot like this. This is, this is more of a quick thing that's there. Now, the most frustrating thing ever as a Dolphins fan is that if I'm a QB and I see this, I shouldn't think that this is a gimme, right? You only throw this if you know you're gonna get a completion. That's the type of confidence that these two have. That's what pisses me off as a Dolphins fan, but this is fantastic to watch, right? Because he throws this perfectly here on rhythm, we got a nine yard stop essentially. So it's a five step, break it down, put the ball high and outside. All right, perfect ball placement. Amazing athlete here. He's, he's just, he is really the best in the NFL at this type of thing. And if he didn't like that, right, that's his gift. So that's his gift here. If he didn't like that, then he would just hit his pure progression, right? One, two, three, four. All right, so those are the ways in which an offensive coordinator will build out the offense to give those type of progressions for the quarterback. It makes things a lot easier. If you have a pure isolation, hey, we're gonna get a vertical stretch on this defender here. We're gonna get a horizontal stretch over here. You can also do an isolation for a deep shot. We talked about the Yankee concept before on this channel. That's a deep shot with a post and the deep over. You basically isolate the safety. Whatever he does, he's wrong. We go opposite, right? So we have our isolations. We also have the pure progression where we're gonna work right to left or left to right. We always have the ability to throw in an alert. A lot of times you'll say, hey, alert the fade or alert the post. If they're gonna allow us the right coverage, which we get press man coverage, we take the fade. If we get a cover four, we take the post. We have a version of something that we're looking for. And if we get that exact look, we have that alert, we take that. And then the next one that we have is gonna be the gift, right? So you can build in your offense where, hey, if we're gonna get off man coverage to the field here, we can just take a hitch, right? If we have if we have off man coverage into the boundary, we're gonna run a hinge or a six step out or whatever it is like that, okay? So we can have those things built in as well. So the quarterback, while they have their full progression on one side of the field, they might have a gift to the other side of the field. And something that you'll see them do is walk up to line of scrimmage, look over, scan the field. They say, okay, hey, you know what? I know that I have this gift over here. I'm not even gonna look over there, right? I'm just gonna keep my focus on this side of the field. And then at the snap, I catch turn, I fire, I take my gift, right? So high level quarterbacks, as you get better and better at the sport, you can start to play those little mind games. Uh, and that's what's really fun to watch these pros, these experts, they've dedicated a crazy amount of time to mastering their craft. They know what the looks are, they know what the gifts are, they understand their alerts, their checks, their progressions. So much detail goes into it, right? And then when on game day, we get to sit home and just watch it and they're going through these, these full like mental chess matches on the field while people are running full speed at them. It really is quite impressive to watch. And if you're a huge football fan, if you're a quarterback or you love the, you know, that type of mental stuff, you can really appreciate it when you see it in action. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, got some good information from it. We have a ton of other stuff on the channel, so go ahead and check it out. If you wanna to learn, totally nerd out about football, definitely the right place for you. All right guys, see you in the next one.